For Netflix and chill. For Netflix and chill. <laughs> it can be bloopers. Yeah. Find wood. <sighs> Maintain your health and growness. Growness and health. <laughs> Growth and health. Is to exercise your wealth and growness. Growth of wellness. Which also brings us to our last key component, which is going to be I totally forgot. I messed up. I did it again. Hopefully, it's better. What I, I talk about? I didn't cut. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hey guys, guys welcome, welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. So, because of stay at home order, uh, we can't stick to our normal routine and it can have negative effect on our productivity and mood. Exactly, so this can lead to us feeling stressed out, worn out, or just not having a good time. So, today we're gonna share some tips and tricks that are gonna help us to stay positive during these tough times and self aware. Meaning that someone has to be aware of their personal wellness. We came up with four key components that can help you to remember these during tough times. So the first component we're going to talk today is your thoughts. Uh, your thoughts have direct impact on your mental health and when you have positive thoughts, it's easier to see life in a balanced way. But when you have negative thoughts, negative thoughts can grow and you will be focused more on negativity around you and you're going to be stuck in that cycle. The more negative thoughts you have, the bigger they grow and that is why a lot of people have trouble to get out from depression. So during quarantine, sometimes I have bad thoughts and sometimes it's difficult to change my thought process. When I start thinking bad thoughts, I try to distract myself. I can go for a walk or I try to do something around the house or play with my cat and it helps to distract. And sometimes I try to smile, uh, I try to turn on music and it also helps to change the mood. <laughs> The second key component is your body's physical reaction and due to the shelter in place order this can be thrown out of whack either hormonally or um, physically so your muscles or your hormones can be thrown out of whack. Your body can experience muscle fatigue, it can experience different um, breathing issues, heart issues. So the first two weeks during quarantine I thought I was just going to be hanging out, relaxing like a vacation. And what happened was I didn't do anything for two weeks, I didn't have a routine, I didn't exercise, and I noticed that my body began to adapt and react to this type of lifestyle. So eventually that led to us kind of creating a routine uh, in the morning of us eating breakfast around the same time, um, preparing for exercise, going on our daily two mile walks, and it really helped my body to kind of get back in the groove of the daily routine and physical activity to stimulate the muscles and chemicals within your body to maintain that positive mindset. Yeah. Our daily routine consisted of working on YouTube videos for you guys, working on our social media, maintaining a healthy diet, which also greatly, greatly contributed to us mentally getting back on track and of course spending time and setting time aside. Yeah. For Netflix and you. For Netflix. So now let's talk about third component is your emotions and how you feel. Um, they can be mixed or they can be positive and negative and of course they can affect your mental health. That is why it's very important not to focus on uh, negative feelings because then you can spiral down the hole, create all that circle of negativity around you. And also being bored and confused can contribute to feeling upset or irritable and it's important not to be focused on the small things that can upset you. So that is why guys you have to make sure that you're not upset uh, over small things and you have to create some uh, routines that are gonna distract you and also that help you uh, with more positive mindset. So sometimes I feel hopeless about all the situation we are in and we've never been before in this situation so it's okay to feel all these feelings that we're feeling right now but it's important not to be stuck or, and not to focus on all this. I think it's important to distract yourself and I also think that it's important to remember that it's gonna end soon and uh, we're gonna be back to our normal lives and hopefully we will be more in control of everything. 
Yeah, I think you really hit the nail on the head. A lot of us can kind of relate to these emotions. Nobody's really immune, and we do see a lot of happy and positive videos, but remember that we all can experience these negative and depressing feelings from one time or another during quarantine. Which brings us to our last key component, which is behavior awareness. Behavior awareness meaning the way that you react to your circumstances or environment. Like Sasha was mentioning, a lot of us are experiencing this for the first time. So since none of us have gone through this circumstance before, a lot of us are experiencing emotions, physical reactions, and physical feelings that we've never really experienced before. Same with behavior, mm -hmm. I feel like. So uh, sometimes we can uh, have good examples of behavior and sometimes we can have bad examples of behavior. <laughs> the main thing to remember during this quarantine is some of these key components of behavior is going to be harmful and some of them are going to be helpful. So this means you can create kind of an outlet, a support system to kind of focus on these positive behaviors. So whether it's Zoom calls, whether it's text messaging, whether it's DMs, whether it's FaceTiming with your friends, going live on Instagram with your friends, or just calling somebody over the phone to just kind of make sure that people are maintaining this positive mindset because it's really, really difficult to, to fall victim to these negative behaviors which are going to send you down this spiral. Negative behaviors can lead to depression or stress. Another couple of examples of these negative behaviors are self-isolation, um, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, isolating yourself. Overeating or undereating are also two things that a lot of people aren't really cognitive about and thinking about, but also can lead to this depression. So a lot of these examples can lead to a drastic physical change in your body, which can send you down these either mental or, or physical blocks that can kind of prevent you from self-growth during quarantine. That's why it's important to focus on positive physical behaviors. Some of these Behaviors may include exercising, um, spiritual exercises, leisure activities, or even hobbies that can kind of help to break that cycle of negativity or depression and put you on the right path for mental or spiritual growth. Personally for me, I think meditation will work great for this. Mm -hmm. And when we do have uh, our kind of our alone time or time for ourselves, uh, I focus more on exercising, doing breathing exercises, whereas Sasha, She'll focus a little bit more on meditation videos. Listening to more relaxed music mm -hmm. uh, that helps you kind of distract yourself and calm down. Yeah, so whatever works for you guys, I would focus on those. And you can use this support system that you guys have built around yourselves to kind of narrow down what works best for you. So guys, all these four components are interconnected to maintaining a positive, healthy mindset. So make sure to find ways to support your growth and wellness. So as a recap and also a reminder, this is a list that we came up with together to help keep yourself accountable during this tough time. Connect with others during this difficult time so both of you can understand that you're not alone. Be active in your physical and mental positivity on a daily basis. Also, remember to take note of your environment and not be overwhelmed by this whole entire situation. Make sure, guys, that you keep learning, you find your new activity or hobby. Also, make sure you challenge yourself and set your personal goals. Yeah, and most importantly and lastly, the thing that we kind of came up with together is make sure to give. Give your time, give your emotional support, whether it's listening, whether it's giving advice, or just reminding a friend or family member that they're not the only ones going through this. Whether you're an essential worker, each and every one of us is affected by the coronavirus and COVID-19. So just kind of remember that and try to keep it fun. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We had so much fun making this video for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye. Bye.